In this example, we will be doing a one set Wolf-Coxon sine rank test exact using Sigma Excel. This tool is used to compute exact p-values. First, we're going to open up a data set located within the Sigma Excel directory. You can do this by clicking Help, Sample Data, and then Customer Data. Click on Statistical Tools, and then Non-Parametric Test Exact, One Sample Wilcoxon Test Exact. Normally, the data is pre-selected. In the chance that it is not selected, you can check mark Use Entire Data Table. Click on Next. Ensure that the stack column format is selected. Numeric data variable will be overall satisfaction, and the optional group category will be customer type. The null hypothesis will be equal to 3.5, and the alternative hypothesis, and the alternative hypothesis will be not equal to. Click OK for the results. And as you can see, the exact p-values are calculated. Now we will consider a small sample problem. Once again, we're going to go through the directory, and we will open non-normal task time difference small sample. A study was performed to determine the effectiveness of training to reduce the time required to complete a short but repetitive process task. Fifteen operators were randomly selected, and the difference in task time was recorded in seconds. A negative value denotes that the operator completed the task in less time after training than before. So we're going to click on uh, Graphical Tools, and then Histogram and Descriptive Statistics. The numeric data variable will be Difference. Click OK for the results. This small sample data fails the Anderson-Darling normality test. Note that, the, this is <coughs> Note that this is due to the data being uniform or possibly bimodal, not, to, not due to a skewed distribution. Now you'll perform a one sample t-test and review the assumptions. So select the task time difference tab, click on statistical tools, and one sample t-test and confidence intervals. <coughs> the numeric data variable will be difference, and the alternative hypothesis will be less than, all hypothesis can the null hypothesis is equal to zero, the alternative hypothesis will stay at less than, and the constant level can stay at 95. Click OK for the results. The one sample t-test assumptions report highlights that the data is not normal, but note the kurtosis equal to negative 1.84 is the issue here, not skewness. The sample size is too small for a robust t-test, so the exact one sample Wilcoxon test is recommended. The Wilcoxon test is recommended over the sign test because it is a more powerful test and meets the requirements that the data requires to be symmetrical. The exact test is recommended because the sample size is very small. <coughs> so we're going to select the task time difference tab and click on statistical tools and then non-parametric test exact and then one sample will cost an exact. We're going to ensure that the stack column format is selected and the numeric, beta, the numeric data variable is difference. The null hypothesis will be equal to zero and the alternative hypothesis will be less than. Click OK for the results. With the p-value being equal to 0 0.0497, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the, the median time <coughs> With the p-value being equal to 0 0.0497, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the median task time difference 
is significantly less than zero, so the training is ineffective. By way of comparison, we will now rerun the analysis using the large sample Wilcoxon test. So select the task time difference tab, click on statistical tools, and then non-parametric tests, then one sample Wilcoxon. Ensure that a stat column format is selected and the numeric data variable will be difference. The other options can stay the same. Click OK for the results. Now with the p-value being equal to 0 0.0513, we incorrectly fail to reject the null hypothesis. The difference between exact and large sample p-values is small, but it is enough to lead us to falsely conclude that the training is ineffective. <coughs> In conclusion, whenever you have a small sample size and are performing a non-parametric test, always use the exact option.